Hey what's up guys, this is King Scourge and in this video I'll be talking about one of my favorite survival games of all time, State of Decay, and I'll be explaining its possible future and what I want from the sequel. Now State of Decay has been out for quite a while ever since its initial release on June 5th, 2013. It later became available for Xbox One not too long ago in 2015. Although there hasn't been much talk about the sequel by Undead Labs and Microsoft Studios, there was some talk with the CEO of Undead Labs during IGN News and some rumors by others. Rumors say quote unquote that Undead Labs had ideas for making a zombie survival MMO and gave us State of Decay as a testing grounds. This means that they had the ideas for the MMO even before they made Save Decay and made the game instead to see if the MMO was possible. And with the CEO of Undead Lads believes that adding co-op to Save Decay would just be difficult and too time consuming. He said it is possible to put co-op play into Save Decay but quote unquote wants it to feel like it's in the heart of the experience and not something that's grafted in. Now I somewhat understand what he means by that because when you look at games like Dead Rising, Resident Evil, with Dead Rising having another player in the game doesn't really fit in with the experience and the story itself. It's mainly just in the game to add more fun and enjoyment to the game for players to do whatever they want with each other like gambling, killing zombies, maybe going on a speed run or completion run. And then with games like Resident Evil, co-op makes not only the ability to play with your friends but also better horror and story experience to the game itself because of course we all played Resident Evil before. But but this doesn't mean we won't have multiplayer for the future of State of Decay because what the last paragraph of the news from the CEO says that State of Decay, it's just a single player game but it's very much a proving ground for re-experience that we, we would like to carry forward as we look at the future of State of Decay. But one thing I can tell you is that the future very much has multiplayer at its heart. That right there, in my opinion, confirms that State of Decay 2 will most likely be an MMO, just like the rumors were saying. But if they're going to work on an MMO for State of Decay 2, they need to fix some problems that were in State of Decay 1, such as the glitches. There were a lot of glitches for those of you who played State of Decay 1, so you guys definitely know what I'm talking about. But for those of you who don't, State of Decay really has a lot of glitches you come across to. Although it's a fun game, the glitches are just insane. I mean, they don't come up all the time but ever so often you will come across some odd glitches so yeah i think they need to fix the glitches from state of decay 1 that way there won't be as much glitches in state of decay 2 or hell none but um they also need to build an open world i mean a bigger open world like obviously mmos if you played the games MMOs have really big open worlds, so if they're going to make an MMO out of State of Decay 2, then yeah, they're definitely going to need a way bigger open world, and of course one that can support, you know, all those players being in that one world at once. On the other hand, I'm really looking forward to it, because whenever I play State of Decay, I always enjoy how realistic it is with the surviving aspect of the game, and actually come up with the strategies when it comes to gathering supplies, looking for supplies in the right areas, and creating your own base. In my eyes, it's like a mix of Walking Dead with some GTA in it. Definitely a mix of some GTA every time I ride around in my car in the open world. Alright, well that about does it for this video, and if you want to check out the article from IGN News and the Rumor Talk, which is where I got my information from, you can check that out on the links below the video, and leave a like and subscribe.